Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are from uh, Group 1. We, today, we are going to present uh, Pasir Godang Chemical Pollution Incident in 2019. Let me introduce my group members. First, we have uh, Ahmad Az Azkairi bin Azwan and me, Ahmad Rudin bin Ahmad Sabri and Brenda James and lastly, Franklin Umut Anak Limban. So for chronology, Pasir Godang Chemical Pollution Incident. The Pasir Godang Chemical Pollution Incident occur in March 2019 and lasts for several weeks. It starts with the release of toxic fumes from a chemical waste dump site, which affected the air quality in the surrounding areas. Here is the chronological about this incident. On March 7, 2019, toxic chemical eagerly dumped into Sungai Kim Kim, Pasir Gudang, Johor, Malaysia. March 8, 2019, resident experienced health issues and school is closed. On March 10, 2019, Incident declared a state level disaster. The crisis management committee established for this incident. Next, uh, March 11, 2019, 111 school is closed as a precautionary measure. On March 12, 2019, the dump site identified, so the cleanup effort is initiated at the river. Uh, next, uh, March 24, 2019, the cleanup operation complete. The school is reopened. And lastly, uh, April 4, 2019, the, the arrest is made in the connection for illegally dumping on the Sungai Kim Kim. That's all from for the chronology. Okay, for OSHA and Environment Act, what is the effect it bring to OSHA and Environment Act? Firstly, occupational safety and health. The incident exposed workers involved in the cleanup and containment effort to potential health risk due their direct contact with the hardness substance. Immediate measure would have been required to ensure the safety and protection of these workers. Second, employee and individual responsible for the incident would have faced accountability for any violence of regulation and regarding of occupational safety and health, which could have resulted in legal repercussion. And environment effect. The incident had significant environmental ramification as harmful chemicals were discharged into the air, water, and soil. This pollution pose a danger to ecosystem and biodiversity in the impact regions. Potential legal consequences, including legal action and penalties, could have been imposed on the individual or company accountable for the instant disposal of chemical waste in accordance with the relevant environmental law and regulation. So, X and regulation. Malaysia has multiple acts and regulations in place to oversee occupational safety and health and environmental methods. Among these acts, the Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, OSHA 1984, the Environmental Quality Act 1974, ECA 1974, and the Hardness Waste Management Act 1989 are particularly relevant. The responsible parties would have been subject to investigate and potential legal action under this act if found to have violated their provision, including failure to comply with safety standards, illegal waste disposal, or negligence in handling hardness substance. As for the victims, 
uh, there are 111 schools located near the river were subsequently closed. 21 people were warded at the hospital with some being admitted to the emergency unit and intensive care, which is ICU. Some of the students brought to the hospital were already fainted and with symptoms such as vomiting. Those who were not seriously affected were given outpatient treatment and allowed to return home. Up to 4,000 people sought medical treatment while hundreds were hospitalized uh, during these issues. Uh, a boy was reported to have developed Parkinson's like disease of my okimia after being exposed to the pollution, uh, which is denied by the Malaysia's Deputy Health Minister, uh, who said that the boy was born premature and had a history of fits since he was four. A group of 160 victims of the pollution then began to file a suit and taking the Johor Menteri Besar along with the state government to court to seek monetary compensation for the boy. As for ethical issues, uh, the authorities uh, deem irresponsible as the authorities did not dispose the chemicals after concluding it was no longer reactive, uh, allegedly due to the cost involved. The authorities later confirmed it as the third wave of air poisoning resulted from the river pollution which were not fully cleared. As for the contractor, the Agencies dispatched for the cleaning up operation of the polluted river collected uh, two tons of chemical waste on the day the incident was reported. The cleaning works, however, worsened the chemical re reaction as the contractor engaged was not experienced in dealing with chemical waste. As for the suspect, there are two main suspects, a Singaporean and a Malaysian. Both have been charged earlier in the same court for conspiring with a lorry driver to dispose the scheduled waste into the river. And lastly, the state government lack of initiative. The state government's slow response on the pollution and the refusal of Pakatan Harapan government to allocate more funds to clear the affected river. And these actions were seen as if they prioritize money rather than the lives and health of the people. And lastly, as for the law issues, there is, a, there is a need to review the country's Environmental Quality Act 1974 in light of the serious pollution, as the suspect only jailed for five years, max or fine 500k, but the damage done are more than 6.4 million. Okay, for the uh, solutions and suggestions, uh, firstly, is uh, for a uh, better waste management. Uh, they should conduct regular inspection and audits of industries and waste disposal sites to ensure compliance with regulations. Uh, this session should cover a wide range of industries with particular focus on those dealing with hazardous chemicals, uh, which is to identify any potential non-compliance with uh, waste management regulation. Uh, the audit can also be conducted to assess the effectiveness of what waste uh, management system ensure that industry have uh, proper procedures in place for the handling, storage, and uh, disposal of hazardous chemicals. Next uh, is the hierarchy policy implementation. Uh, the regulatory bodies in collaboration with industries should conduct comprehensive uh, hierarchy to identify potential hazard created with uh, chemical storage, temperature, and disposal. This uh, assessment should cover the entire life cycle of hazardous chemicals from their arrival at storage facilities to their final disposal or uh, treatment. Finally, uh, a stricter regulatory enforcement. <coughs> uh, they should uh, increase the frequency and effectiveness of inspection to identify potential violation and take prompt action. Uh, it is to develop protocols for prompt and appropriate action in response to identified violations, including issuing warnings, imposing penalties, or in initiating legal proceedings uh, when it is uh, necessary. Next is the solutions and suggestions based on uh, SDG. First is the uh, third SDG, which is a good health and well-being. 
uh, it is to provide immediate medical assistance and healthcare services to the affected individuals, which is the students uh, nearby, ensuring that they receive proper treatment for any health issues resulting from the incident to establish the long-term health monitoring system program to track the health and status of the affected population and thus provide necessary follow-up care. Uh, the second is uh, the SDG SIPs, which is clean water and sanitation. First, they need to implement a stringent regulation and monitoring system to prevent the discharge of hazardous chemicals into water bodies to ensure the protection of water resources and provision of clean water to the communities. It is to enhance uh, water treatment infrastructure and technology to effectively remove the chemical contaminants from the water sources. And finally, uh, for SDG 9, industry, innovation, and infrastructure, they should develop sustainable industrial practices, uh, which is to encourage industries to adopt uh, sustainable practices in chemical storage, transportation, and disposal to minimize the risk of pollution incidents. It is used to promote the use of cleaner production technologies such as green chemistry to reduce the generation of hazardous uh, waste. That is all for our group. And